All right, just got the frame sandblasted. Next, I gotta drop it off to uh, powder coat. All right, the bike's finally done. The vision for this build is a clean, reliable chop that you can take anywhere. Let's take an up-close look at all the mods I've done to it. Starting from the front, we have a 21-inch wheel with a brand new tire. I wanted to keep it true to the chopper look, so no fun break. Next, we have a 4.5-inch headlight from Lowbrow Customs. I really like this light. It's pretty bright at night too. Next, I added 41 millimeter fork boots to give it the old school look. The front end is stock white glide. I had the top tree powder color black to match with the bottom tree. The bars are 10 inch T bars that I bought from a friend. The gas tank is a 2.1 gallon Wasel style mid tunnel that I bought from TC Bros. I'm running a stock CV card with TC Bros air filter. For the seat, I'm running a TC Bros rigid mount solo seat. I have this seat on my shovel head and I really like how comfy it is. This frame didn't come with an oil filter mount. So I chopped the stock mount off from the original frame and welded it on here. And then over here, I replaced the stock coil with this Dyna 5 ohms coil. For the ignition switch, I'm running a simple three position switch. To make sure everything is solid, I got a new rectifier and stator. I also rebuilt the starter solenoid. For this build, I really wanted to run mid pegs, so I got the weld on kit from Prison Supplied. In the back, I'm running a three feet tall CC bar that I got from a swap meet. Attached to it is a Lucas style tail light that I took off the original bulb and replaced it with a LED 1157 bulb with a new housing. For the exhaust, I'm running upsweep pipes with cocktail shaker mufflers. Rear fender is a 5 inch TC Bros flat fender. For the rear tire, I'm running Avon MK2 5x16. For the chain conversion kit, I'm running 22 for the front sprocket and 49 for the rear sprocket. Rear brake is OEM. I just replaced the brake line with TC Bros stainless steel kit. I replaced the stock exhaust flanges for these heavy duty stainless steel ones. As you can see, they are a lot thicker than stock. I also got new exhaust gaskets and hardware. I'm running two 30 amp circuit breakers. And for battery, I'm running a NOCO NLP20 lithium battery. It's strapped down pretty good. And just in case, I added a leather spacer to prevent the positive terminal from grinding out. All the wires on this bike were soldered and heat shrink. My top three mods on this bike. First would be the exhaust pipes. I love the way they look and especially love the way they sound. Second would be the mid pegs. The riding position is really nice. They're not as aggressive as the high mids, but they are a lot more comfortable. Third would be the stance of the bike. I really like the stock forks with the 2116 combo. The lines are really nice in my opinion. But yeah, enough talking, let's start this thing up.